That's a cool looking light fixture. It looks just like a drill. Yeah. Every time she wants the light, she's got to hit the trigger and the light goes on. <laughs> Our electricians are coming out and they usually bring like three or four huge trucks. So Jamie and I moved, I parked over here like in the parking spot. And for whatever reason, Jamie just like backed into the woods tight to this pile of lumber. <laughs> So we finally met the guys that think that the not basement crawl space is phenomenal. It had a door, I call it a basement. But for you guys, you're not gonna crawl. You're gonna walk around. I'm gonna spend most of my time down here just because it's nice and warm and out of the elements. Yeah, you need to be spoiled on this. Yeah, and if you need me, don't. She's still gonna have the freezer here. This is gonna be the air handler. Oh, the air handler. Yeah. What, she gonna put a freezer here in the corner? Potentially. Okay. So we'll still run the home run there? I think so. When's the heat and air guys coming? Heat, they're here. Like, they've got stuff up here in this room, uh, and it's already... Oh, there you go. Okay. Um, so they're in process. Okay. Ready to go upstairs? Okay. No, 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 no. Do you want to stay down here? <laughs> yeah, it's cold out. Yeah. All right, Nate. Here's what we're going to be using for all of the recess lighting. Oh, sorry. Yeah, hand it to them. So... These clip onto the drywall and don't need any sort of a, you know, can in the rough end. Four inch slope. Yeah, you, we almost did the wafers or what you call wafers that are just real thin, uh -huh. but they would be at the pitch of the roof, which is like a two and a half, 12. So these we can set straight down. So it's wildly adjustable. Mm -hmm. For a steeper slope, push it in and that'll be straight down. And then for a shallower slope, need skinny fingers, but there you go. You just pull it back up. And that's probably what we need right there for the slope we have is very little. I might just come across angle straight down, drill that right there. And then we get to the shortest exit, which would probably be that way. Also, right behind this is a double oven, so we got to get a box for that in there that doesn't interfere with this. And I'm waiting on the specs for that because the cabinet it sits on a thing about this high, and then the oven's about yay high. And so the outlet is going to be somewhere. We're just looking at the light switch placement here for the master bath. I've got a 36-inch door that hinges open here, so I can't get a switch there. Also here, it's just bifold, so I can't put a switch there. So I'm thinking we got to go just outside and switch it the lights going in. There's nowhere else to put it. Nate says that there is no code against putting the switch on the outside of the room, but the one thing is we can't put it in a place that you could reach it from inside a shower that is against code. Because you could maybe electrocute yourself or something weird. Okay, this will work if I protect the switches. Yeah, okay. But we try to keep the switches where they're not, uh, where you can reach them from standing in the shower. But since there's a glass wall right here, yeah. it'd be physically impossible to reach them from the opening over there. Gumby arms. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. We're getting pretty close here on figuring out all the wiring. And these guys are already making Swiss cheese out of the walls over here. So before the plan's complete, they start with what we know and start going. Brennan's the newest guy, but he's already figured out. Use your leg instead of your arms. That's a good move. I don't have a lot of regrets but I really wish that I could go back and add some lights in my house. Like every maybe five feet in the soffit, I wish I had a really bright light and one, one big switch. If I had to be one of those big industrial <laughs> switches so that I could literally light up yeah. all the way around my house with one switch. Wouldn't that be amazing? I had that at my last house. You did? One switch turned on eight lights on the outside. I had two on each corner. Did you love it or what? It was great, yeah. Yeah, well, maybe I'm going to get these guys to do a little remodeling for me because I just love the idea of that. I wanted to put one in between every set of double raptors. You can see right here, there's only, what is there, 30 of them? So anyway, I'm thinking just... Okay. <laughs> I just got off the phone with the homeowner and she's got some really cool ideas for the lighting outside of the house. Most people put the lights, you know, on the house, but we're not going to do that. We're going to actually put lights in the trees all the way around and they'll just shine on the part of the house that you want to light up, right? You know, you'll probably have to get a big ladder and maybe climb up that tree pretty high because the, the light's gonna be way up there. All switched together, three ways, four ways. You guys are never gonna get that one minute back of your life, just so you know. 
Nate's going to try something new on this job, not sponsored, but it's called Homer Helpers, and you screw that to the truss, and then wires go right through. Is that right? So you don't have to staple your wires. In theory. You just run all your home runs through those holes yeah. down, the, down the line. Yeah. That, that actually makes kind of sense. You just uh, hit every other truss. Right. Uh, yeah, it's got multiple screw points to where oh. you could even screw it. Any way you want, you can screw it like this, screw it's it like that, or screw it like that. Like you can attach it to the bottom of the truss if you're able to attach it. That's cool. You gonna let him do that? I guess. I don't want to do it. Back around the corner of the house. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> Make sure your guys are clear. He's gonna drill all the way through the roof. Yeah. This is a little scary, but he feels good about it. I hope he doesn't think he's going straight right now. <laughs> Got it? Yes, sir. Nice. You can tell Jason to relax. <laughs> so I just walked in the door from work. There was a package waiting on me here. I opened it up and this was inside. Perkins Builder Brothers Christmas ornaments with wood shavings on the inside and somehow our logo. So I can zoom in and get a better shot. Look at these guys. So these were from, let's see. This card says it. The Comeries. I guess they watch our show and they got us these ornaments. I think they're awesome. They're gonna go right there on my tree. Appreciate it, guys. You should give away some. I should give away some? Yeah. Who should I give them to? Someone. <laughs> Maybe Uncle Jamie? Jason and Ray and John are finishing up these rails or at least the sections we have the parts for. Jason was just here and he was like, I don't wanna brag or anything, but I'm getting so good at these railings, yeah. something, something, something. Walks off, and then Ray pulls out the piece he just put in, and the whole thing's put in upside down. <laughs> this part right here is upside down. <laughs> what a guy. What a guy. <laughs> at least he's confident. I mean, I think yeah, at least is half yeah. the battle. As long as hey, you can sir. be confident about what you're doing, you look like you're doing it right every time. <laughs> there we go. All right. He did cut it right, though. <laughs> Due to a series of events, I was super late getting here today. But when I did get here, there was this. And, and this. And this. And that from Cardinal Coffee. Isn't that nice? Turns out the owner of Cardinal Coffee came by and just had this present. He gave it to Ray and Jason. So we're going to open it. All right. Well, let's check it out. Let's find out what did we get because I'm pretty it's excited. It's a pro wrapping here. job, I can tell you. I that know. Much. He's probably just... He sells Christmas trees too, this guy. Oh. Yeah. He's all about Christmas. All right. All right, let's see here. Oh, oh, I'm starting to get a little, a little hint here about it. Yeah! Oh wow! All right, looks like some sweet Cardinal Coffee <laughs> apparel. All right then, look at that. Ooh. Got some hoodies. Nice. All right. I do really like that Cardinal logo. You just, you just completely covered. By the oh yeah, sorry about that. Boom. The Cardinal flies here. Cardinals are state bird here as Is well. It really? you, yes. Shoot. If you didn't know that in North Carolina. I, I actually didn't know. Teal is going to be good for you. I'm thinking gray for me. <laughs> I'm thinking gray. We got, Look at that. We got Man. black. There's going to be a battle over these colors. Teal, black, gray, gray. Gray. Mm, Sweet. I like, the, I like the gray or the teal. That's weird. He got me six of these. <laughs> I don't know why he didn't get anybody else one. This guy gave me six of these. Nice guy, huh? <laughs> No? Teal? Well, hey, wait. No, the gray matches your beard. It does. It does. Um, the teal. All right. The teal. I'm like a teal because I got tons of gray in there. Sarah's going to steal the teal. I know. That's the thing. Sarah loves sweatshirts. Yeah, well, you can kiss that one goodbye, so you better go with black or something. <laughs> Today's video is brought to you by Ritual, and right now they're having a New Year's 40% off their clean, traceable, science-backed products. It's the first day of the year, and we're going to kick it off right by skiing. I'm going to ski with the boys, Sarah. And I'm going to take my Ritual multivitamin, which is a habit that I'm pretty sure I can stick with. So I've done the unrealistic New Year's resolutions where I'm going to like work out every day for a year that never works. So this is something I can stick with for the whole year. You got it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Down with the coffee. You feel me? Yeah. You got it. Good job. Mmm, tastes like mint. This <laughs> tastes good. Good, good job. job. No, I think it's great. The notable thing about Ritual and why I trust them is that on their website, they have the traceable locations of where they got all of the ingredients that go into the multivitamin. And that's something they're proud of, unlike 
I think a lot of other companies that will try to hide their ingredients or where they got them because they're not so notable. So it's, it's a trustworthy thing. They are proud of what this is. And this particular one has 10 essential nutrients that it's hard for men to get. That's why it's a great thing for men to use. Importantly for me, the capsule is a delayed release, so it's easy on an empty stomach. And a lot of times I just have coffee for breakfast. So that's really important for me. And like I said, transparency is at the core of everything Ritual does, from the way the nutrients are sourced to the environmental impact of the materials used to ship thousands of orders. You can fill the gaps in your diet with Essential for Men, and it's a small step that helps support a healthy foundation for your body. Ritual is offering 40% off your first month. Just scan my QR code on the screen or visit ritual.com slash Perkins40 to start today. That's ritual.com slash Perkins40. Thank you, Ritual, for sponsoring our video. Let's hit the slopes. <laughs> wow. Well, that's going to be fun to clean up. Hey, thanks, Cardinal Coffee, for the stuff. And thank you, Ramel. I heard she was in on this. Wow, guys. You, you've done it. Almost. Almost. I have to come back and uh, get a, the custom trim put on the top on the high end. But. Okay. All right, I'm up here with the guys to show the final installation of the flashing underneath our flashing that we installed and talked about earlier. Right there. Okay. I'll flash up under that. Water tight, just as planned. These are the screws that the roof is put in with, and they have this washer with a neoprene gasket. Is that right? Correct. What's important about the installation of these? Can you uh, tell me? You have to uh, definitely put them in straight. Like 90 uh, degrees? 90 degrees. You don't want them to put them in sideways. You don't want to over tighten them, or else you'll just, Interesting. You know, the, road, the gasket will just, you know, break loose okay. sooner than later. Pro tip. Yep. Pro tip of the day right there. Thank you. You want that? That might come in handy later. <laughs> My father would say that's uh, five cents. That's right five there. cents out of your paycheck, son. <laughs> I appreciate these guys using this standoff bar on the roof too. I've had roofers before that would lean the ladder right on the edge of the metal. Brand new roof and just put two massive kinks in it straight away. So these guys pay attention to detail, keeping everything nice for us. So I appreciate that. railings are done what we can do what isn't done is this screen we never finished it we, we just stopped Weather. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we've got stopped. three more sections to do that's fine one thing i overlooked and we started talking about earlier was what about the sections between these beams above the beam yeah i didn't even think about that well you know there'll be some bugs getting in there <laughs> i, was like, I hate to let her down well, I have had an idea. Actually, I'm planning to go to the hardware store and have an actual like screen like for a window made. Okay. So they're just like inserts. You Fits just perfect. slip them in. We do have to figure out how to attach them because I didn't figure that out yet. Uh, maybe we have to put a little strip of wood around something maybe that they screw through that little man, aluminum track. Yeah. Yep. One, two, three. I think it's going to be extremely difficult to make it on site. Yeah. I out of so. this hardware that we got. I think the way it stretches as you install for a piece that small, it would actually stretch it too tight. I do too. You don't think you could install it I loose enough hardly. I think you would lose your mind trying to put them in yes. there. Uh, I'm trying to prevent the, you know, the hassle yeah. factor there. I can't even believe that I didn't even think of that. Did you think about that? Those slots up that you did? I didn't when we I did mean, that. What do you mean? Think about it. I didn't even think about the fact that there was... To think about okay. <laughs> yeah, there that's, you go. That's my job, I guess, is to think of stuff. Yeah. But I, I forget a lot of things. But uh, the only other option would be to block it in solid with wood. That would I don't be. think it would look good. Also, look good. we are all out of fur. Mm. We don't even have the material to do it now. So it's going to be screen. I think the screen will look the best. Okay. I think it's going to look slick. Really good. And we'll try to line it up in and out this direction with the plane of the screen mm. on the big panels. Well, right? that's the outside of that beam. So that it looks, oh, the Home Builders Association's calling. Better get that one. Better answer. The electricians are doing our drops for our recessed lighting here. And since they don't have a rough end box, but the wire needs to drop between the trusses, they've made all these cardboard templates to hold the wire in the correct location until the drywall gets installed and then it'll support all that. But that's pretty smart. Was that your idea? It 
It was not. Yeah. Oh, I would have claimed you. I'll take the credit. Okay. Good job. <laughs> Way to go. You got the most annoying job on the job site today. Yeah, and these things are tough to cut, this aluminum. And I'm, to try to do that is impossible because it's just way too much. It's you don't have close. enough backing. It's yeah. just going to yeah. catch. And so then like I was using this and putting it like that. Yep, that's better. But it was still, it just wasn't right and it wasn't good. It was kind of, you can see, kind of well, catching yeah. and flinging pieces. So now I've gone to this technique here, where I'm gonna put this like that. Fully back. So I think once it gets through the big, it's gonna be easier to get down through there. So okay. if I do that. Hang on, let me get my ears in. Okay. <laughs> Cutting aluminum on a chop saw like this is sketchy because it's super hard and wants to just catch. And the blade is moving at a really, really high speed here. And it's just sketchy. That's the reason I'm cutting with this grinder out here. Because yeah. I don't even want to, I don't want to do this because I've had some bad results. I feel like the grinder though, it just, it's not going to make a 90 cut, which I think this will. And okay. I think if I go super slow and with my power of holding this down. <laughs> I think you're going to be okay with this thicker board. Yeah. was your cut off <laughs> wow Dude. okay that worked a lot better yeah that's that's good ready check it out what the teeth of my cut off john come check it out jane <laughs> jamie come here for a second we need you no, I'm good. no seriously please i got a question call the electricians okay. over there too. jason made a good cut i just want to show you this cut off dude look at that Wow, wow, that's nice. Mel, you check it out. Keep that. It's a, it's hey, oh, he's, oh, he's, yeah, yeah. he's been working with us six long. years and he's finally proud of a cut. <laughs> oh man, it's too long. <laughs> Son of a. Oh, did you get that camera off of me? I'm just looking around and we're really close to being done on the outside here. The roofers are gonna do this corrugated metal. We gotta paint the other side, do some screening, stain a little bit more and that's it, which is great because we don't wanna be outside in January here working. We'll probably take on a little side job or something in January, then we'll be back to do all of the inside finish and we'll be inside where it's warm. And it would suck to put a cut in the screen right at this point by accident. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to remember if I've done it. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Wouldn't take much. No. Dude, good job. All right. Thank you. Yep. Yep. Huge mess here, though. No, bro. I'll give it right back. You've taken hey, you everything I've got today. <laughs> I'll give it back to you. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> you two are give it to me. We just don't have our tools. We're on paint team. Oh my god! What was the excuse this morning? I didn't. I used all my bits. I gotta get down the road. <sighs> gotta go watch a concert. concert. Chase is in a band concert, like a Christmas uh, jazz band. What are these? I brought those for cutting the track. Yeah, we just didn't burn through any of them. Um, you need to take it because I got to go to the lake property tomorrow oh, and meet the Duke Energy guy. It's going to be a rough day. Christmas. Get a few bucks. What is this? That was a great thing in college. I don't know what that is. It goes to that. Okay. I got my drill. You got Jamie's stuff. I think that's it. See you boys Thursday morning. You gotta come in all tomorrow? No, I gotta meet the guy at noon. Noon o'clock. Fuck that. I got a cake. Uh, what are we gonna do tomorrow anyways? Well, we got these two sections to screen.
Listen, you're forgetting a major thing is the whole back side of the house needs painted. Yeah, but we can't do too cold. It's got warm up. We can't do too cold. <laughs> it's got warm up a little bit. We started <laughs> name tomorrow, boys. Mm-hmm. It's going to be really cold in the morning. Again, like 20. 10, 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock start. Yeah, I mean, you can't paint and you can't do the screen at 20 degrees. Yeah, I hear you. All right, like you can't, actually. It's on the instructions of the... Noon to me. <laughs> What else did I forget? Breathe on it. Uh, yeah, I don't know what we're going to do. Screen, that screen paint. paint. And stain. Stain. It's going to be 25 degrees until it's about be gorgeous. 11. We ain't staining because we're not going to have any Oh, yeah. She got to get some stain. Hey, guy, quit throwing my template away. Oh. It ain't going to be here. We don't even need the template. Yeah, you do. You got to cut You got to cut some more of this track. What's that do? You, it's for marking your 45s accurately. Yeah. Keep that guy. That's gold, pure gold. Here, this is yours. Take that. <laughs> All right then. <laughs> Four thirty. <laughs> See you guys. Have a good one. What? Hey, what's up? Yellow. Yeah, I might not have good signal here though. I'll call you back in just a minute. Thanks for building with us.